Today we will learn about working with animate CC. First, let us understand about symbols and animation. A symbol is a reusable object for static images or animation. It is either created in animate with the help of drawing tools or imported from other sources. Animate stores symbols in the library. When we place a symbol on the stage, we create an instance of that symbol. Instance is a copy of the original symbol. The size, color, shape and position of an instance can be altered without affecting the original symbol. Symbols reduce the file size and simplify the editing process of a movie. If we modify the symbol, it will change all the instances. There are mainly three types of symbols available in Animate. Movie Clip, Button, Graphic. Let us know more. Library Panel is the storehouse of symbols from where these are used throughout the movie. Let's take a quick view. F8 is the shortcut for Convert to Symbol option. Ctrl plus L is a shortcut to open the Library Panel. Let us learn how to create a symbol. To create a symbol, follow these steps. Draw a train on the stage as shown in the figure by using the Rectangle tool, Oval tool and Pencil tool from the Tools panel. Choose the Selection tool and drag the mouse pointer on the stage to enclose the train within a rectangular selection mark queue. Choose Modify then go to Convert to Symbol. You will get a Convert to Symbol dialog box. Choose Graphic from the Type drop-down list. Specify the symbol's name, G-Train, in the name text box and click OK. Your new symbol is now added in the library panel. Notice that the train symbol appears enclosed inside a blue bounding box with a small hollow circle in the middle. Click on the library panel tab to view the symbol and its name. An instance of a symbol appears on the stage. You can create multiple instances of the same symbol by dragging the symbol from the library panel to the stage. To make changes to the name, size, color effects or actions of a particular instance, select the instance and open the property inspector on the right side. Any change that you make affects only the instance and not the symbol. You can also make changes directly to the symbol within the library panel. Right click on the symbol's name in the library panel and select the edit option from the context menu or double click the symbol's icon in the library panel or on the stage. The symbol editing window will open. Select the front part of the train using the selection tool and change its color to orange. Note that the changes made directly to a symbol are applied to all instances of that symbol. After making the desired changes, exit from the Symbols Edit Mode by clicking on Scene 1 or the back button present on the edit bar above the stage. Know the fact The Property Inspector in Anime displays all the information regarding the object that is selected, that is, setting of the current document, symbol, text, shape, bitmap, group, frame, video or tool. Let us know more. You can press enter or select control then go to play option to play back or preview the animation. Alright, now let me tell you how to use the animation. When a series of images are displayed in a rapid sequence in fixed interval of time, an illusion of movement is created. This illusion of movement created by quick transition of images is termed as animation. Animations can be created in flash with the help of twinning, which means in between. The moment from one keyframe to the other becomes convenient with the use of the twinning. Let us know more. We can view all the frames created between the starting and ending keyframe of the twinned animation by using onion skin feature. There are two types of onion skinning. The Onion Skin option displays frames in full color, whereas with the Onion Skin Outlines option, you can view the outline of the object in the frames. 
Animate provides three types of twinned animation. Motion twin, shape twin, classic twin. Please note the fact, morphing refers to the special effects in animation that transforms one shape into another shape through a seamless transition. Press Ctrl plus Enter or select Ctrl, then Test Movie, then in Animate to view the effects of Motion Tween. Let me tell you that you can also group multiple objects in a drawing so that they can be easily selected and moved as a whole. To do so, select the object and click on Modify, then go to Group or press Ctrl plus G key combination. Let us know more. It is not always essential to draw an object for animation as you can also use external images and bitmaps to create an animation. You can import any image into Flash by selecting File then go to Import and then go to Import to Stage. The shortcut key to import an image is Ctrl plus R. Now let us learn how to create a motion twin. We create a motion twin by specifying the starting and ending position of an object in keyframes and Flash automatically fills the in-between frames for creating an animation. To apply motion twin, it is required to convert an object into a symbol. This twin is best suited for creating movement, size and rotation changes. To create a motion twin, drag the graphic symbol G-Train from the library panel to the stage to apply an animation effect on it. In the timeline, double-click the Layer 1 title and type the layer name Moving Train and press the Enter key. Now the symbol is in the Frame 1 of the Moving Train layer. Right-click on Frame 1 and select the Create Motion Twin option from the Context menu. A blue colored span of 24 frames appears on the timeline and the layer get converted to a twin layer. Bring the mouse pointer to the right end of the blue colored bar. A double headed arrow appears. Drag the arrow to move the playhead to frame 40. Move the train to the left side of the stage. A new keyframe will be created automatically at frame 40. You will observe that a green colored motion path is created and the train symbol will follow this path. Press Ctrl plus Enter or select Ctrl, then Test Movie, then in Animate to view the effects of motion tween. Let us know more that a twin layer is a layer that contains one or more motion twin spans, static frames and blank keyframes. Twin layers have a special context menu that contains different ways to manipulate the twins. To access this menu, right-click on a frame in a twin layer. Let's talk about Shape Twin. Shape Twinning is used to transform the shape of an object into another. Shape Twin does not work if the object is converted into symbol or is grouped. We can create a wonderful morphing effect by using Shape Twin. Suppose we have a circle and want to make it appear to be changing into a star. In this case, we need two shapes, namely a circle and a star to be drawn in different frames at a different point of time. Let us try this by following the given steps. Select the stroke color blue and fill color yellow. Draw a circle in the first keyframe of the timeline. Do not convert it into a symbol. Select the frame 45 and insert keyframe by selecting the insert then go to timeline then go to keyframe option. While keeping playhead on the frame 45, delete the circle object from your working area and draw a star shape as shown in the figure. Select frame 1 and choose insert then go to shape twin. A green shaded area with a solid arrow will appear between these two keyframes. Press Ctrl plus Enter or select Ctrl, then Test Movie, then in Animate to play the movie and view the shape to an effect. Know the fact 
the control then test movie then in animate creates a swf small web format file at the same location which can be directly played using the adobe flash player software it works similar to the option control then go to test option let us know more you can remove a keyframe by right clicking on the frame and selecting the clear keyframe option Okay, now we will discuss about the motion guide. When we visit an unknown place, we do not know which path to follow to reach our destination. So, it is better to take the help of a guide who knows the route. He will take us to our destination. Animate provides us with the ability to create a motion guide that defines the path of the movement for an object. Instead of having an object move from one point to another in a straight path, we can make it follow an arbitrary path that we draw, that is, a motion guide. Let us see how a motion guide is used. Select the pencil tool and set the pencil mode to smooth from the option selection in the tools panel. Draw an airplane as shown in the figure and fill color in its various parts using the paint bucket tool. Convert it into a symbol by selecting Modify, then go to Convert to Symbol option. In the Convert to Symbol dialog box, enter the name Airplane in the Name text box and select the Graphic option from the Type drop-down list. Now double-click on Layer 1 and rename it to L Airplane. Select Insert, then go to Timeline, then go to Layer to create a new layer on the timeline. Rename this layer to Motion Airplane. Select the Pencil tool from the Tools panel and select a Stroke Color from the Properties panel on the right. Draw a path on the stage that the object will follow while in motion. Choose the Selection tool and double click on the path to select it. Now select Edit then go to Cut to remove the path from the stage temporarily. Click on the layer L Airplane. Right click on frame 1 and choose Create Motion Twin option from the context menu. A blue colored span of frames appears. Choose Edit then go to Paste in Place to paste the path in this layer. The path automatically gets converted to a motion path and the airplane symbol itself snaps to the path. Drag the playhead to frame 40. Press Ctrl plus Enter or select Ctrl, then Test Movie, then In Animate from the menu bar to test the animation. The airplane follows the path that you have created. Let us know more. Playhead is represented by a red vertical line in the timeline window. Let us know more. While using Motion Guide, if you want to rotate the symbol to match the direction of the path, Select frame 1 and click on the Orient to Path checkbox under the Rotation section in the Property Inspector. Now let's find out about the Classic Motion Guide. Classic Motion Guide is yet another way to create a motion guide that defines a random path which the object should follow while in motion. To make use of this option, Select the Rectangle tool and draw a rounded rectangle shaped track as shown in figure. Rename the layer 1 to Racing Track. Insert another layer by selecting the Insert, then go to Timeline, then go to Layer. Rename the layer 2 as Racing Car. Draw the car as shown in the figure by using various tools from the Tools panel. 
Convert the car to a graphic symbol and place it on the track using the selection tool. Insert another layer by selecting the insert, then go to timeline, then go to layer and rename it to path. Select frame 80 in all the layers together. Right click and choose the insert frame option. Select the car and the track layer and insert a keyframe at frame 80 by right clicking and selecting insert keyframe option. Now select the path layer. Choose pencil tool from the tools panel and draw a path on the track. Select frame 1 of the car layer. Choose selection tool and position the car at the beginning of the circular path. Select frame 80 of the same layer and drag the car to the end point of the path. Right click on the frame between frame 1 and frame 80 and select the create classic twin option from the context menu. Right click on the path layer and select the guide option. Drag the racing car layer on the path layer and vice versa. You will see that the path layer changes to a guide layer indicated with a symbol. Select a frame on the racing car layer, go to properties panel and select the orient to path checkbox to rotate the car on the path. Press Ctrl plus enter or select the control then go to test movie then go to in anime to play the animation. Let us know more. Motion path is a line that represents the movement of the instance. The dots on the motion path represent different positions of the object along the path in the different frames on the timeline. How to paint stylish strokes on the stage? Animate CC provides you a new tool that enables you to get creative. This tool has symmetry brushes which allows you to draw cool, symmetrical, interesting textures, patterns and drawings. Paint Brush Tool This tool is used to draw stylish brush strokes. These brush strokes can be applied on the existing objects or you can use it to draw any path on the stage. Click on the Paint Brush Tool. In the Property Inspector, type in the Stroke Size 10. Click on the Brush Library icon. The Brush Library appears on the Animate window. Select any brush from the displayed options and double click on it. The selected brush will appear in the Style option. Now, click and drag the mouse in the direction where you want to draw it. Release the mouse button and observe. To do so, follow the given steps. Select the Pencil tool from the Tools panel and set Pencil Mode to Smooth. Draw a flower as shown in figure and fill color in it using the Paint Bucket tool. Choose the Selection tool and drag the mouse pointer to select the flower. Click on the Create New Paint Brush from Selection icon present next to the pencil symbol in the Style option on the Property Inspector. The Paint Brush Options dialog box appears as shown in figure. Select the type of brush from the Type drop down list. Enter the name Flower in the Name text box. Select Scale Proportionately, Radio button, and customize the other settings as per your need. Click on Add button. Select the Line tool from the Tools panel. You will notice the Saved Brush Stroke in the Style option list. Now click and drag the line on the stage. Automatically the flower will be drawn.